G'day guys, we've had a bit of a wet winter here, we had weeks and weeks of rain and it's taken a toll on the driveway, it's brought up a few potholes here and they're quite deep, some of them are like half a foot deep, it's a shared access driveway between five neighbours so it gets quite a bit of traffic. I had hoped the neighbours were going to put some gravel on it last year after I fixed it up but it didn't happen so here we are again. So it looks like it's up to the old grader to get it sorted. First of all I'll rip the potholes with a scarifier just to sort of break them up a bit. And then I'll make a pass on each side and just push that grass away towards the outside and uh, try and get the ditch a wee bit deeper so the rainwater's got somewhere to go. Form a bit of a crown so that the rainwater sheds off to the sides and doesn't sit in the centre of the track which is what causes the problem in the first place. So we'll go and get the grader and see how we go. Should we grease the old girl up? Yep. But this, we'll start here. This grader doesn't like rain. Rain? No. Needs a raincoat. Make it pull again. <laughs> Is it coming out? There we go. See the grease coming out there? That means there's grease in that joint. seems to be running out of power whenever I try and work it hard. It seems like a fuel issue to me so I've loosened this off um, the fuel supply and there's nothing coming out of there so that's obviously a problem. I'll try this side. Still not great. So we've got a blocked fuel tank, I think. There's got to be a blockage somewhere. Open it right up. And see if that helps. If I can try and blow in that, maybe. Clear it out. Yeah, no, that's better now. So it's obviously a blocked strainer up there. Uh, behind the fuel tip, blowing through it might have cleared it enough to just keep it going today. Um, but it looks like I've flushed that tank out and um, cleaned the strainer in there. But hopefully I can just keep it going enough to do the job today. Anyway.
right, that's a bit better. I've scraped all the grass off the edges so that um, the water can get away now. And also ripped all these potholes. We'll spread a load of gravel on here and that should be good. The old grade is earning its keep. It is quite rocky, this um, driveway, so it does struggle a bit um, in the rocky patches, but it does a decent job though. This is just um, dirt, so it's not that good for putting on top of the track. It just ends up turning into mud. I can't really pull it over that side too much more because there's a fence over there and I don't want to uh, ruin the fence. So I think next time we'll probably have to pick it up with the excavator and truck it away. First of all, I have to siphon that diesel tank to get all the crap out of it, then I can give it a good flush. That's got most of the fuel out of there. It's the culprit up there, not the easiest to get into. So I think that might have been the problem, just that little piece of plastic or whatever it is. That was clogging up the, uh, the tap. So that's all it takes to stop a 12 ton grater. We'll get that out of there and give the tap a clean and it should be good as gold. You can see through that now. Let's see what it's like in there because that tap does leak a little bit. Yeah, it's quite brittle that I run. Put the new one in and um, hopefully that does the job. A little bit of grease on there, so it slides in. That shouldn't leak now. Yeah, that's a lot better. It feels nice and tight now, so that shouldn't leak. Seems to be something coming out of the 
where the fuel tap was screwed in, some sort of thread. Yeah. It might be thread tape or thread glue or something. There's a little bit of gunk in there, but it's not bad. It's not rusty at all. I half expected to see a filter up in there, but um, there doesn't seem to be anything you can take out. Uh, and it does seem to be flowing out of there fairly quickly. Um, it's just about drained now, but um, it was flowing quite quickly. So I think it just was a piece of um, crud in the fuel tap that was blocking it. So that, sh that should go a lot better now. If there is a filter, there's no way to get it out from the bottom there. The only other thing would be to take it from the top, but I can't see any, there's no plates or anything up there. Alright, so rather than throw all that good fuel away, I'll put a, a fine mesh uh, filter sock in there and that'll just uh, catch any bits in the fuel. Because I did take about 40 litres out of there and I'm not throwing that away. It's a good flow coming out of there now. Yep, plenty of fuel. So much better than it was. Problem solved. Just a little bit of crud in the fuel tap. It's all sorted, it's getting plenty of fuel now and um, sounding a lot better uh, before it was really struggling whenever I revved it up. So that's all good to go now. Reckon buddy? I was trying to feed them grass. Yeah. Make some healthy. Hey buddy. I don't know how that mother got out. 